Oh, hi, hi, hi there. I was just saying I'm surprised that they brought their drummer. Most bands leave their drummer at home. He found his way here. <laughs> Followed the scent. <laughs> He's like a rat. He just will not go away. I'd say more award. <laughs> Does he spread as well? <laughs> so... <laughs> For those of you then who have, or for those of our listeners actually who have not heard of Beyond Neon before, uh, give us a bit of an idea of what you lads are about. Um, just, uh, just trying to make good music and be as, uh, well, get it over time. Like. As, as charming as possible? I don't know. Well, I don't want to boast. Like. Uh, well, you just haven't been together that long, though. No, no. Um, well, I met all through university and uh, must have met him roughly on the second year. Right. Yeah. Only to say they asked him to play drums on the third year, and um, it took you a full year to ask him. Well, we had a drummer, but uh, oh, right. sadly that didn't work out. I was <laughs> about to ask what happened to what? him, but what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what no. university is that, and what are you studying there? Uh, both do graphic design. Well, he's uh, graduated, so very good. What happened to you, Kevin? What's it? What happened to you? You know? What what happened? Oh, I, I took a gap year to sit around. And I and write lots of music and be creative. Yeah. Really yeah. Well, you'll, have, you'll have no problem with the album cover anyway, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm still here. No, since he's got a T1, I'll leave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you only think you want that sort of job until you start doing it, and then you realise you probably don't want it because you won't be getting paid for it or anything like so. So it doesn't make any difference. But you guys are all based in Belfast here, then, are you? Well, I'm from Dublin. Ah. So, so you're, you're a bit of a, a drift in then? Yeah. Are you living down in Dublin and travelling? Yeah, it's a problem. Like, when I was up here, it was here for the years, but now I'm travelling up there. Yeah, and does the band cover your pets with expansion? Soon, soon they will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were covering it for over a year, so... How, how do you... How do you find that uh, sort of travelling up and down, like in terms of practising and stuff like that? Because I, I heard um, rumours of a Belfast band here and that a couple of them were planning to move to London while the other one was, was going to stay here and that they would write songs via MSN and this sort of thing. I was just, what way does it work for you? As I know obviously London's slightly further away than Dublin would be, but it's probably a similar sort of thing going on. Uh, well, I suppose we, we usually, usually what happened is you send me a, send me a track. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we talk in an email maybe and then I just sort of, you know, work it out in my head and just then we, when we jump together then sort of just work together. Develops from our Develops from our I'm sorry that you have to sit in that awkward position there. The microphone is really awkwardly angled for the guitar, but he has to try and shout into it as well. So we do apologise, and you know, don't blame Phil FM if you have any back problems after this one. <laughs> uh, but so, so we just practice regularly then, or is it just a... I was usually once a week, but then... Me and John ventured off to Europe for a while. Right. So when we've got back, well, we played in Abbey Annie's last week, actually, so we haven't practiced in over about a month now. Oh. So, uh, so has it been, what to say, Belfast, winging it? Yes, yes, yes exactly. <laughs> it turned out, turn out that the, uh, the winging a gig was probably the, the best, best gig yet. So <laughs> the best gig I can wing it from now. Always. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the way forward. I'll just talk to him and MSN, that'll do. Uh, that's a tip for some, what, some what? bands here in Belfast. Don't practice and you'll be decent. I, maybe, I mean, you should take that. Maybe. No, <laughs> you know, but uh, what was I was going to say, um, what were you, were you just doing at the real and the, the student? Um, at the real I, thing, it's, it's good. Well, we went to Berlin, Rome, Israel. And did the, did the, did the guitar come with you on the way? Uh, are you going to leave it? Are you going to leave We had loads of pictures too, but on the last night, got a bit drunk and lost the camera. Good way of making friends <laughs> and then you end up a... Uh, so uh, yeah, so I met a couple of friends and have, uh, hopefully a few fans. Ah, yeah. good stuff. Just some of CDs. And did you write any songs along the way, did you? Not really. No, uh, like, um... Oh, uh, uh, well, I wrote a song about it but when I got home. Uh, but uh, that was about a load of other madness too. <laughs> I, I don't know if that sort of madness could be repeated here on radio or not. I'm just going to hazard a guess and say not. But hopefully these lads are going to be hitting us with a bit of an acoustic track if you are ready. Or indeed. Born ready. Uh, well, we're ready. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is Beyond Neon here on 103.2 Phil FM. The song's called Tom's Away. i 